Welcome back to another edition of the Yodelcast. I am your host, Doc Lettuce, bringing you the number eight spot matchup here on the Game Shrine Ladder between Mostly Harmless and Flamboyant. Uh, this is a best of three series. We are starting off here on Arx Novena and we'll be moving on to Catabatic and Rain Dance if needed. As the game does get underway, I'll give you guys a roster rundown on Blood Eagle. We have Flamboyant with Quant, Guillaume, Kate Cran, JX3 Aru, uh, to be further known as JX3, uh, Melur, Fingon, and Kanet. And on the Diamond Sword side, we have Mostly Harmless with Absolute Frost, John Hammond, Void Spawn, Jester Logic, Greth, Rio, Bear, and Zero Menthol. Uh, welcome to any stream viewers we may have. I know there's another game going on, so I don't expect many, but I hope you guys do enjoy this matchup. Uh, personally, I have to say, I think this one will be better than the other. And uh, we are getting started here, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the defensive setups for the Mostly Harmless team. We have Absolute Frost here doing some stand defense. Rio Bear seems to be going out and doing some random dueling, taking care of his sniper who I currently cannot find. It's going to be Greth. We did have a quick grab there from Kennet, but he was taken down very quickly uh, by John Hamon's chain gunfire, and the flag's going to be easily returned, so Greth is going to be hanging out over here. He is moving a little bit more towards the middle on the aqueduct, obviously using that phase rifle, and uh, so it's going to be interesting, and uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on him as uh, he's going to be Malur's primary target here, but Zero Menthol getting away here with a side-to-side -side grab. Very low on health, only 20 left, and he does get taken down there. Uh... And the flag's just sitting here in the field. Jester Logic jumps over it. Quant's coming in now to try and make the pickup. He is going to be it. Sorry, Jester Logic was going to grab that. My apologies. It's been a while since I've casted. I uh, missed it, though, and Quant got the return. It's a shame there for him uh, for the Mostly Harmless side. There were two of them there. But unfortunately, with Jester Logic just simply missing the flag, no dice on that. You see Malur here now doing some stand distraction. He is just waiting for his capper to come in. Has just cloaked up. He's boosting away Absolute Frost. We should see a capper coming in any second now. And yes, here we go. Kanet's coming flying in there, going great speed on that back to front. 280. He's got six, uh, 860 health. He's making it all the way back. Void Spawn's really the only one in the way. They're not going to be able to do anything. And there we go. A fast 1 0 here for the Flamboyant team. Great coordination there. There. I'm sort of surprised that Malur got away with that distraction. Uh, you shouldn't really just let an infiltrator sit around there and be stealthed and then just do distraction as needed. Uh, I'm really surprised they're. they're uh, that Greth or someone else didn't spot him, because he was just sort of hanging around, and... But, you know, he did, and great play by him, stealthing up and making sure that he boosted away and distracted just as the capper was coming in. That's exactly what he needs to do, and it clearly it paid off. Uh, we do see the generators are down for both teams. I don't see anyone really going to repair it, and this isn't really a map you would expect to see a technician on, so they're probably going to stay down for the majority of the game. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and take a look here at the flamboyant defense, as we got a flag grab there quickly that prevents me from taking a look. We do have Quant there doing some dueling right now with Jester Logic. Uh, Guillaume is now coming in. He might be doing some Pathfinder defense. Uh, Fingon is also here. And uh, he's calling down an inventory station. Actually, Guillaume might be doing sniping. My bad. I don't really know these teams all that well. And uh, so if I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get a couple positions wrong. But that's life. I'll get to know them better later as the game goes on. Guillaume is going to be doing that sniping, of course. Um, so yeah, two very similar defenses. We have a sniper on both sides. And we have two soldiers. So Guillaume is setting up a little bit more differently than Greth. Greth had been setting up there in the aqueduct, and we see Guillaume's actually on the stand, uh, which makes quite a bit of sense. It makes it easier for his teammates to help him out if he gets dueled, but it also means that he's going to be a lot easier to take down uh, from the enemy distraction, as Zero Menthol's coming in here now to do some of that distraction. Taking down Quant very low, down to half health. Fingon's also incredibly low, so good distraction. They just need to finish it up before their capper gets in. I don't actually see their capper in the background anywhere at the moment. Uh, Jester Logic's down there doing something. I don't know what. He's sort of just hiding here in the base. I'm gonna go ahead and keep an eye on him. He's in that infiltrator, so their capper must be getting ready to come in because Jester Logic's now moving onto the flag stand. It's just really Guillaume and Quant here right now, and a disc shot does hit Guillaume, and a sticky's going out there on the stand. The stand is clear. We should see a capper coming in any second. Now Fingon has respawned, and Quant's dead. I don't see any capper coming in. In the meantime, Malur had a quick grab, but he went down. Uh, Rio Bear doing some more distraction. Where is their capper? I don't see him anywhere. He must have been taken down or something because this is great distraction, but there's really no one to do anything with. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately that's all wasted. So we're going to go ahead and find out who their capper is. Uh, they don't have any Pathfinders, so it looks like they're either going to be running soldier capping or they're going to be doing some sort of uh, punt strategy. Uh, so we're going to have to go ahead and keep an eye on that. It's probably going to be soldier cap. I believe Zero Menthol might be a capper. Uh, but I'm not sure. So, for the time being, until I find out who they actually have grabbing the flag, we're gonna go ahead and swap stands, because we know who's capping here is Kenneth actually is gonna 
give you a hint right there, grabbing the flag with 280 speed again, doing the exact same route. There wasn't as much distraction, but he just managed to basically solo that as the defender did miss the body block. A uh, Mortar coming in there now, does take him down. The flag's just going to be sitting here on the field. Mortar is going to bump it down, so it's going to buy the team even more time. Void Spawn's trying to get this return here. He's probably going to be able to get it. Disc Shot's coming in. Kenneth bounces the flag away. Void Spawn's still alive, but he's having to be careful. He's trying to come back in now and get it. I don't see anyone else coming in. He is going to be able to get the return, so a great return there for him. And in the meantime, we did have a grab and a return uh, for the flamboyant team as Kran is actually making a grab now in a heavy 41 health, though. He's not really going to go far at all. Uh, a lot of chain gun fire coming in, sniper shots coming in. He tosses it off here to Kennet, uh, who boosts away a little bit. He's got full health, but the chasers should really be able to catch up. Jester Logic all oh, tried to do some sort of punch or something, but he did... Uh, disc himself as Zero Menthol finally comes in, has changed classes to the Pathfinder, hits the Aqueduct in the middle though, and in the meantime, Kennet has just tried to toss off the flag or got Nitron. He's going to be able to pick it back up though, and we did have a drop there from Jester Logic. The flags are just bouncing, but one of them was returned here. It is the Flamboyant flag. They are going to be able to pick up this flag. Will they finally get the cap? No, Quant gets boosted off, but there we go. He finally makes it a 2-0 uh, game there for the Flamboyant team. A lot of action going on with that uh, with that flag and that stand, and geez. So we do see they are finally swapping to a Pathfinder here to make my life a lot easier. Uh, so now we actually will be able to see the capper and where he is. We see him in the back now. Guillaume has not spotted him yet. So if they get the distractions going, this could be a great opportunity. Jester Logic is there in the back. He's going to start firing. Going after Guillaume now, but I think they've spotted Zero Menthol. And there are two defenders on there. He's going to still be able to get the flag, and he's getting away now. He's got full health, too. That was... Uh... Shame there for the defense. I ex really expected two people to be able to take him down. He's even going to disc jump himself closer to the flag just to ensure the fact he's going to get this cap. And there was really no one there on the flag stand waiting, so he has brought this back. One cap closer, two to one. Kenneth's about to come in now. We had some great spam coming on there. The flag stand's completely clear. There we go. Kenneth grabs it. He does get bounced a little bit. Jester Logic in the meantime made a grab and he punted the flag. It's on top of the aqueduct in the middle, so Kenneth has to survive for a little bit longer. Rio Bear is coming to intercept him. Sniper fire coming and he does try and toss it off here to Quant. Quant's going to pick it up, but that buys Rio Bear some time. He is getting ready. Zero Menthol is even going to go in and pick up their flag on the Aqueduct, and he's got some time because no one was going to return that. Quant has cleared off anyone, uh, all and any chasers, so we are going to go ahead and swap here to Zero Menthol, who also does not have any chasers, but he is in that Pathfinder, so he is low on health here at 478. A couple sniper shots will take him down. We see JX3 coming in now. Some sniper fire coming in. Kennet's coming in as well. Kran should be coming in too, uh, but that's going to be a little bit of time. Uh, so they are going to be setting up here on the standoff spot at the vehicle pad, and on the other side we see a very similar thing. Jester Logic here is going to be able to get a Sonic Punch off. No one really saw him there, but he is being blasted down heavily. I don't think he's going to be able to get this. Indeed, there we go. Uh, it was a great attempt there, but the Sonic Punch really knocked it far away from him. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, maybe he should have punched it more towards the little uh, stone area there, and it might have bounced more favorably towards him, but it was a great attempt there. He almost had a single-handed return, but the great chain gun fire prevented that. In the meantime, Void Spawn here under heavy, starting to become under heavy fire, as K Kran's trying to do the same, and he bounced it perfectly, uh, but he dies. Uh, JX3 trying to get it. No, it gets bounced away from him just before he's able to get it, and he does go down. Absolute Frost picks it up. He's down very low, but all the uh, attacking force is dead. He's going to toss it off here to John Hamond, and we are going to have a reset on both sides. So great attempts here on the offense. We see the Sonic Punch is really getting used pretty heavily heavily, but uh, no no dice on that one. The uh, flamboyant team was much closer there to getting that sonic punch off and actually getting the getting the return, but uh, we do see Jester Logic here setting up for another attempt, so maybe he'll be able to pull it off a bit more successfully this time and uh, do the same thing and get it punched uh, against the uh, stone rather than sort of flying out in the air. Uh, we see Void Spawn setting up there in that heavy. He's going to start some Merv Spam, try and catch some of them off guard. Jester Logic's getting ready now to come in. Merv Spam's just a little bit too uh, too low, and he has probably just adjusted now. Jester Logic getting ready to move in any second now, but we do see action going on the other side. John Hamond is down to half health. He's being mowed down heavily. Flag goes down, and the Infiltrator was there to return it. That's a shame. Great strategy there, just having that Infiltrator ready for the return. No one thought it was in any danger, but in... But of course, when he is there, he can just do whatever he wants and take as much time. Uh, they are buying a lot of time, though. If someone had... Uh, enough disc jumps and stuff. They might have been able to make it here in time, but it looks like they thought the cap was just simply going to happen and they gave up on it. Uh, Void Spawn was doing its best, but it's not going to be enough. They do finally get that cap 3-1. to one. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't more stand crashing from the Mostly Harmless team. Uh, they had a fair chunk of time. That was a good 30 seconds or so uh, from when the flag was returned, but no one really came in to do anything. I think they thought they were going to get the cap a lot quicker, and I don't blame them for that because I expected it as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and keep an eye now on this most uh, flamboyant stand. I want to see what's going to be happening as we do see Zero Menthol is being sniped down now by Guillaume, or at least he has a beat on him. The two defenders are here. Are they going to be able to stop him this time? Indeed they are. Thingon is going to be able to prevent that, so this offense is basically dead here. Jester Logic, it was there ready to try and follow up, but he is going down. 
Uh, Rio Bear's really left the only one doing some spamming, but that's not going to do much. So swapping over here really quickly, we see Kran doing some spam with the Merv. It is landing on the flag stand. That's going to clear it. Uh, JX3 doing some spam here on Absolute Frost, taking him down very low. He does manage to take him down. John Hamond is really the only one left. Kenneth's coming in now. Can John Hamond spot him? He does spot him. Will he be able to get it? He does get some serious damage on him, but Kenneth is still able to get the grab. 200 health. He's going. He's probably going to make it back. Sniper Shot may be able to finish him off now, but no. Greth has just respawned, and no, is not going to be able to get it. Oh, Bear dies on the stand of Void Spawn, who was then taken down. Zero Menthol almost had the return, but it was picked up by Guillaume, who is finally going to be able to walk onto that and get the cap. Malure is now making a continuation grab in a soldier. All the defense was gone. He doesn't have great speed, but he's got plenty of health right now. He could easily last long enough to punt this off. Chain Gun Fire coming in. He's going to punt it off here to Quant. Quant misses it, though. This could be a problem here as Jester Logic comes flying in. John Hamond right behind him. Jester Logic is not going to be able to get it, though. Quant does pick it up. He's just floating here in the air. That's bringing John Hamon clearly enough time, and he gets a nice grenade off. Is going to be able to take him down, but John Hamon is about to go down himself as Kenneth picks it up. Rio Bear really the only one left here. Can Zero Menthol get in here and get the cap off before? Yeah, no, he does not, but maybe? Yeah, there we go. Takes advantage of the fact that everyone was more focused on, the on their cap, but he does go down, unfortunately, to a sniper. Uh, just a couple seconds too late there from a, a nice little e-grab, but instead he is looking at a 5-1 to one scoreline here for the flamboyant team, but it's certainly an action pack. These grabs are not easily done and are fairly contested after those first two really easy caps uh, by Kennet. So great job here by uh, flamboyant. They're really doing a lot of good stand clearing. I was kind of surprised that Kennet, or yeah, I believe it was Kennet got away with that, uh, with that grab that we were watching earlier, but he was very low, and I believe Greth was taken out, which is why there was no sniper fire coming in. And uh, so, yeah, so you see Kenneth's coming in here now, and there is no one on the stand. This is going to be an easy 6-1. to one. Uh, You see now, it's, you know, full health, 280 speed. That's plenty. He didn't even have to Nitron or Disc or anything at the end to get himself that extra speed. And uh, here we go. So he's going to make this very simple. And Void Spawn's not able to do anything this time. Rio Bear is there running a too heavy offense, which is actually interesting. Malur's going to try and do a continuation grab. He's going to punt it off here, but Jester Logic's there for the easy return. On the other side, we did have a quick grab, but the flag is just going to go ahead and sit here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the offenses, because I haven't actually done that. And uh, it's kind of stupid of me. So uh, we did see, obviously, two heavies running here, uh, as well as an infiltrator and a pathfinder. That's a fairly strong setup, but the two heavies do make it slightly difficult to move around as much. They're very dedicated towards their offense, and they can't do all that much other... Uh, right now, this mostly harmless team is having problems with their timing. You see, Zero Menthol came in there, and there was really nothing he was going to be able to do. He should have probably waited maybe like 10 seconds or so for this flag to be returned, and then should have had some spam coming in, but I don't see their heavies here anywhere. Uh, Rio Bear was doing some really nice spam earlier, but he's obviously been taken out, and he has just spawned. He's actually changed classes as Kennet is probably going to finish this game off here at seven caps. He did get away with another back to front. 740 health, and Jester Logic's going to be trying Sonic Punch this. Misses it, though, as Kennet was going a bit too fast, and there we go, the 7-1. to one. Congratulations there to Flamboyant, taking the first map in a very convincing 7-1 to one manner. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty straightforward. We had a lot of interesting caps and contested caps going on there, but in the end, uh, their clearing was just incredibly well done and well-timed, and Kennet was getting away with the flag pretty much every time, so well played there by Flamboyant, merely taking just under 13 minutes uh, to take that first map, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how Mostly Harmless responds on Catabatic, which obviously plays quite a bit different. So yeah, thanks everyone for listening, I'll see you guys on map two.